Um, yeah, but he left his iPad and his iPad actually got up and ran off. Did you put it in your bag? All right, here we go. We're ready for problem number four. Last one. And we're going to. Is that from Ryan? Yeah. No, I didn't. And we're going to. <laughs> make some skateboards. All right, so why don't you see if you can, while I'm getting things set up here, why don't you see if you can fill in some numbers in the table? See if you can do it all by yourself. Okay. Build in my table. Some of those sentences seem a little backwards to me, so I want to make sure that I do everything right. Is that does yours match that? So does anyone have a question about where any of those numbers or why the numbers are where they are? The numbers are all in the problem, so it's just a matter of putting them in the right box. Okay, well, setting up those boxes pretty much gives you your equations. What is this equation for finishing? What would that be? 2x plus 1 half of 1 is, is less, less than, than or equal, equal to 40. And you can use 1 half or you can use 0.5. Doesn't matter to me, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then what does this equation say? okay with everybody and then what are the automatics that you can just get from the graph itself so so far are we okay all right i'm going to go ahead and write my uh, maximum profit expression right now what would that be okay so when we get our test and we have a problem that looks like this we're not going to panic. We're going to fill in our chart. From our chart, you should be able to come up with some equations. That you should be able to fill in, right? Now what? Now we start graphing. Right? Now, I'm looking at some of these equations, and I mean, this one alone, if I just think ahead a little bit, that's a big Y value. So this may be another one that I need to change my scale on. So in maybe instead of thinking it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe I think of it as 10, 20, 30, 40. Does that make sense to you? You are allowed to do that. So I'm going to let each of these hash marks is going to be 10s. These are 10s. All right, so here we go. If I cover up the X, you have a calculator. If I cover up the X, Y is 80. This is my purple equation. I covered up the X, Y was 80. If I cover up the Y, X is 20. Everybody okay with that guy? He's a little. Well, it looks like. 
All right. Now let's do the red one. If I cover up the X, Y is 85. And if I cover up the Y, oh, I don't know what that is. Fifty-six point six seven. Oh, this is interesting. They don't. But I mean, that's what happened. They don't intersect. Now, are they both shaded below? So if they're both shaded below, where would be the intersected area? Oh, there it is. Wouldn't it just be this guy right here? Yeah, purple. Oh, because it intersects with the Y. Just the purple one? You got to be under the red line, so you have to be inside this triangle. But you also have to be under the purple one, which means you're inside that triangle. So isn't that just this one? So what are your points then? Your points zero, are 080, 080, 20, zero, zero, zero. 20, zero, and zero, zero. <coughs> Only three points this time. So then what happens now? We go back and we plug in those three points into our profit expression. This, of course, is going to be zero, so that's your minimum. 20 would be 1,000. Uh, what's 80? What is it? 5,200. Oh, my goodness. Well, then there's no question about what we want to do, right? Zero, zero. We are going to build what? 80. Special ones or specialty, whatever they're called, uh, will build 80 specialty boards and no pro boards. And our profit will be what? $5,200? says that's what you should do. If you're this company, and just in common <coughs> sense logical terms, do you think that might be, is that what you should do if you're this company? No, because why? Might there be some customers that want the pro boards? So it's probably a good idea to have a few of those going? even though your focus is on the other one. Good, good, good. All right. No, recall stuff for no one ever for nothing. Get out your practice test. Here we go. Time short. Let's go. Let's go. We got tons of time. We get a lot done. Practice tests were given to you a long time ago. You have them. It says practice test chapter seven. Mm. Oh, my staple on Could be staple on to something else if you were absent. You might have gotten it as part of something else. So, let's take a quick look at the practice test. We have a page of solving using substitution, elimination, and Kramer's rule. Then we have a page of matrix operations. Then we have another page of kind of random stuff, including vocabulary. Then we have a page of what we just did. And then the last page is our calculator problem. Okay, everybody got it. So look again. Why don't I have it? Okay, take a picture of somebody. I think you lost the drone. Do you have another one? I don't think I have another one.
might be stapled to the front or back of something else. Okay, so here we go. Number one, solve using substitution. Okay. X plus 2Y equals 7. 2X minus Y equals 4. Substitution. How does this work? Let's get this by itself. So X equals 7 minus 2Y. Then we'll plug this in here. So 2 times 7 minus 2y minus y equals 4. So 14 minus 4y minus y equals 4. Everybody still with me? Distribute. 14 minus 5y equals 4. Minus 5y equals minus 10. So y equals 2. Now remember, your answer is an ordered pair. So I got a y value that's 2, so now I'm going to plug it back in somewhere. And if y is 2, x would be 3. You're going to have a calculator for the whole test to help you with arithmetic. I don't think you need it on that, but in case you did, it could help you. All right, number two, solve using elimination. What happens if you substitute on this problem? You don't get any points. You have to follow the directions. On this page, you have to follow the directions. So we're going to use elimination. So what would you suggest if we're forced to eliminate? Bottom by three. So 2x plus 3y is 4, my top equation. And then 9x minus 3y is negative 15. <coughs> Remember, you have to multiply the whole row across. So 11x equals negative 11. So x equals negative 1. And then what? Taylor, what is that? Oh, okay. Me too. I'm thinking, what are we doing? Okay, so x is negative 11. And then I have to plug it back in. So if I plug it back in, I guess I'll plug it in here. So negative 2 plus 3y equals 4. So 3y equals 6. Did you get y equals 2? Yeah. Daddy? So the first part was the answer, the uh, 3, 2, or the 7 minus 2, 2? The answer is 3, 2. Okay. The answer is the ordered pair. Okay, I didn't know if it was box. No, it was box because I substituted it in here. Okay. So I just, yeah. No, this is the answer. And this is the answer to this one if I didn't make a mistake. Okay. Um, is it time to stop? Yes, please stop. No, this is it out for you. No.